just starting my part two of hot pink watercolor painting and I just want to talk about some of my brushes. I use a variety of flats. This is great for um, running a large water wash or uh, a plain water or a color. This is squirrel hair. I like squirrel hair a lot. It doesn't um, have a lot of body like Klinsky Sable Spring, I guess you would call it, but it sure holds a lot of water. I love these um, these squirrels. I have a variety of those. Raphael puts out a nice product. Um, these are Kalinsky, my Kalinsky rounds. These are also Kalinsky, but a a smaller, you know, mounted on a stick version, old. Um, these are synthetic brushes, uh, which work great for doing line work or more uh, detailed work. They don't hold a great deal of water, but I like them just the same. Uh, this is another squirrel, and. Um, this I use, it's a squirrel mop, and this I use to apply large water washes also. Um, and of course, regular sponges, natural sponges are nice for dabbing, creating textures. This I use just to dab my brush on, um, just to dry it off a bit, remove color, what have you. This works the same way. I just use a standard, you know, 2B pencil for drawing on my watercolor paper and I always just draw my drawing directly. Um, I don't project the image, uh, stuff like that, or do any comps. I just draw it right straight on. Eraser, kneaded eraser works great too. And then these are uh, water brushes and they come in flats and rounds and various sizes. You can see these are nicely stained. And then here is my traveling kit that I use to uh, carry all my supplies, my pens, my water brushes, etc. And I use uh, these palettes at home. This is just an inexpensive uh, palette from Dick Blick. And I, I, I just kind of keep, this is my green palette and I add colors that I generally like to mix with green. I'll probably add more, but I use the excess wells, open wells, for more color or large uh, washes or mixing a lot of paint. There's lots of containers for that. And of course the handy dandy squirt bottle for wetting your paper first. And that's it for tools. Oh, I do use um, just uh, Arches is my favorite watercolor paper. I like both cold press and hot press. And I shall start my painting.